following is a presentation of TFNN. The Global Market Pulse with your host, John Logan. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, John Logan. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. And it's seemingly all, all about oil. And uh, as we look at, you know, oil rallying past, this is our 240-minute view. This is our this is the charts on our scanner here. Um, you'll notice yesterday we, we kind of broke stride for the first time. This is really awesome if you're if you want to be long oil. Um, kind of got back out of the 20s, obviously got above our 240s, consolidated above. We talked about Actually, on Tom's show yesterday, yesterday afternoon, we were talking. Uh, this is the uh, 2949 area up top here on the 240s. This is where you kind of look at the stops for a long trade now if you're trying to be stingy. I'm going to go into uh, eSignal really quick and just pull up all. And just want you guys to notice that um, uh, this, is the, this is the March contract. Uh, let me see here. What are we on? Let me make sure we got the right contract. Yep, March contract. And... Um, Let's see here. We're still on, we're on March in the scanner. So uh, just want to note that as we look at our e-signal charts, there's that 240. Just going to show this a little more explicitly here. There's that consolidation above. There's that 2950, 2949. And uh, as you can see, it's the first time we've actually broken stride on our 240s in a long time since like the 30, high 30s. So this is a big deal. Um, what do you do with it now? How do you play it? Uh, you got some resistance around 3173 right now. That's what we're looking at, and uh, you know, don't don't chase things. We want to wait for uh, some new information. Here's our 60 minute here on oil. I uh, got some profiles on our very short term around 3104 down to 30 3044. So as we look at this, um, you know, we we had really really r looked at the ETF, the XLE, the past couple of days. I don't want to beat a dead horse. Here we are. Um, we've had some really good plays in this, and you know these are the types of things. These really, really El Cheapo stocks down here, um, you know the Southwesterns. The uh, we looked at another one, COG. Where's it at? Uh, Cabot Oil and Gas Corp. Green across the board here. This is kind of where we're at pre-market. I'm going to show this really quick in our charts in the scanner. If we can get them to come up. Patience is a virtue. Is that what they say? Come on, guys. Nah. All right. We're uh, retrieving data. That's We're going to omit that. We're going to go back to our e-signal for a second, COG. We're going to pull this up. Wow. And it's slow on e-signal, too. Okay. Here we go. So, uh, you know, we had looked at this getting past consolidating higher lows, lower lows on crude oil, higher lows on this, and then being able to look at this with the scanner, consolidating above 1613. And, you know, this is a three-point move in a $16 stock. So you do the math, that's about a 20% move in a day and a half. Um, and actually, you could have caught it lower on some of these unfurlows lows around 1575. So, again, you know, what, what we're trying to do all the time, and here's our chart on COG. Yeah, there it is, pre-market. Let's just see what we're doing here. 60 minute. Man, what is going on here? It's a little slow this morning. Maybe it's me. Sometimes I need to reboot my machine and I forget. Okay. We'll, we'll wait for that. To, oh, there we go. Yeah. When I make that sound, I'm frustrated, by the way. Uh, this is the situation on the 60 minute on COG. So, We've reached, uh, you see where we're at right now, and um, what a nice little play. So, uh, you know, we, we can look at all the oil stocks, and we can see our 60-minute green shoot situation. It's pretty much across the board. A lot of the arrows are, are up, even in the gray section. So what does this mean, like, to Soro Petroleum 
if you see that 12, that means we're in a defined uptrend on our 60 minute for 12 bars, even though we are, are within a balanced area on the 60 minute. This, this is all in the manual. And by the way, I, uh, I didn't, you know, we talked about a manual getting it on, um, TFNN site, but if you go to the help section on your home screen here, uh, you will get a version of the manual. It's always difficult to keep manuals updated. <laughs> I'll admit that. I don't even know if this manual has the uh, the charting function in it. Um, but it's really it's really wild. Uh, Gain Capital did a really good version of this manual, or did a version. Uh, we white labeled this for Gain Capital, and uh, their manual is better than the one I've done. So. I'm a little envious of uh, what they've done, but I'll, it actually has the charts in it. Um, I'll keep babbling if you guys will keep listening. Apple. Uh, I want to take a look at Apple. I want to bring it up on the screen really, really quick. And the reason we looked at you know that oil sector so hard was before we get into Apple, I want to state this. On our ETF grid, um, we really started noticing on the 240s and the 60s, we, and there's the uh, XLE, energy sector. We noticed that the, the breadth on our 60-minute really had crossed in the positive territory back on the 20th. And, um, you know, the S&Ps and all, I mean, excuse me, the old crude oil is still kind of ticking down. And, you know, that's, kind, that's the type of anomalies we, we really want to see and try to take advantage of. And a lot of these oil stocks um, were getting killed. But there were some really, really good opportunities. And when you see those... You know, the cool thing about a really big down market is, is it really cl – in oil or the S&Ps in general or whatever, you want to drill into that, in this instance, crude oil, down into the internals of the instruments. That's a, the, the real beauty of not just it getting stuck trading futures all the time. Let's try to find things that are going to be as least painful as possible if we're wrong and crude oil continues to go down, which it may. Some of these instruments, the internals – are saying, hey, I just don't want to be sold. You know, so you've got to look at that as relative strength. Let's take a very least painful outlook on those particular stocks and uh, try to take advantage of them. And that's exactly what happened. So it's markets like this really clear the air and identify things. So you can look at it as a positive, even though the market's been going to hell in a handbasket here in general. And all in the uh, S&P. So I want to look at Apple. I want to pull this up. we got about 40 seconds before we go to break. Um, you know, a little bit of a rally here, 98. But but uh, guess what? In this same neighborhood, you got some pretty serious resistance here and big-time resistance around 101.5 into 104 and some change. So Apple really, you know, has it performed well in the last couple of days with a little bit of a rally here? No. Um, you've got to look at that as relative weakness. You've got to look at that as, you know, people still are not that excited about Apple. If you guys hear a phone ringing, I apologize for that. Um, and, you know, are there better longs out here in the S&Ps? Absolutely. The answer is yes. We're going to take a look at a couple of good long opportunities, stocks that were hanging in there, showing their self when we come back from break, guys. is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry. Powered by the acclaimed Taz proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. 
Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. John takes your phone calls now, now. now. toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044. Hi guys, welcome back to the show. Um, we're going to look at some stocks in the S&P and try to figure out what's uh, what's the best way to try to find some opportunities in a market like this. I was looking at crude oil again. I um, had a question, a really good question, actually, uh, from S&P in the den. It was a private message. I hope he doesn't mind me saying that he's private messaging me. But And anybody can private message me. Anybody can email me, by the way, or uh, just send in comments. You know, the premise of... One of the premises of this show is to try to solve problems for people in the den. Um, that's what the access point, really, the benefit of it is. And, um, you know, these instant analysis that we do, we're not always right on the outcomes, but I think what we're doing is just giving a really good dissertation a lot of times and, and analysis that a lot of people can benefit from. So you're not only, you know, getting some you know answers for yourself i think these are good opportunities for people to learn a couple of things based on what i talk about every day now some of the things steve rhodes talks about great you know the other hosts larry basil daryl white uh dave uh, excuse me daryl martin <laughs> david david white um uh you know the rest of the hosts on tfnn tom a lot of times you know you'll get different angles and 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 andy hecht uh i always forget him because he's always out in the deep afternoon um love listening to him um you know getting di these different angles a lot of times that will slow your trading down and i talk about this a lot i mean sitting in front of the screen the lights flashing it's difficult to just sit there and do nothing but if you can kind of get a consolidated um a consensus report in general, um, you know, Tom, I mean, for instance, like, you know, the, the ABC, the, the Garley patterns, this is really good confirmation material to overlay on top of some of the things that the, you know, the Steve Rhodes of the worlds, the Toms of the worlds. I mean, the, again, it's, it's just great, great information. And when things line up and everybody's saying the same thing, it's just, man, it could be a really good go signal a lot of times. So um, the question is, uh, you know, going back to COG, and I'm going to go back to my uh, stock section here. Actually, I'm going to go to my ETF section, 
Isn't it cool how you can just access things so really quick on this scanner? I just love it. I'm going to go to my XLE, and I'm going to go back to COG. So uh, let me uh, delay this meeting here. Okay. COG, so I'm going to access my chart. Um, back to a little slow this morning. Let's see. Let me, we're stuck there, hold on. Let me go to eSignal really quick, just to get this over with. Go to COG, and um, all right, so, so the question really is, where do you put your stops on a trade like this? So we've got the breakout, here's the weekly. We were looking for that, and that, you know, again, one of those trigger points, 1575 down below, we got out of the, I mean, this is just a killer setup. Um, but, you know, where do you put your stops? And do you, you know, a lot of times, you know, the biggest complaint is from a trader, and I'm a trader, and I, I complain to myself about this, is, God dang it, I took the trade off too early. Um, a lot of times people hate to see profits. I mean, they just want to take them. They don't want them to, you know, you know the, the drill. Um, so here's our daily. Um, you know, if you're looking at this as a long-term pop, I mean, Remember, crude oil has broken stride finally, technically. It's starting to do some things for since the first time since the high 30s. Has it really started breaking stride on our weekly and dailies? The answer is no, right? So you got to be looking at this still with a little bit of uh, jaded eyes because, you know, everybody's, oh, God, crude oil's changing. It's time to buy it. And a lot of times people get caught up in that kind of thing. So here's our 240s on COG, and the answer to the question is where do you put your stops? Um, trailing stops are always good. This is pre-market. We're trading 1925. You've got a heck of a move in this. My opinion is you wake up this morning, you've got a gap up, crude oil's kind of looking a little rosy. Um, it might not be a bad idea to take half off the table and Anytime we breach the 1734, that would be kind of a long-term stop right now. But, you know, I, I, I wouldn't want to mess with this. And this is not reflecting pre-market prices, our daily on e-signal. I'm going to go back to our charts here. This is this is our uh, our uh, pre-market 240-minute. How cool is this? God, I love this. Um, don't have any new boxes attempting to appear. And, you know, when I go back to COG, and I look at this, you've got green across the board. You don't have any breakage of profiles. You don't have any new profiles attempting to appear. So on the long-term view, until you start seeing some yellow pullbacks or yellow peelbacks like you do on some of these, um, uh, remember, a lot of these stocks are putting in demand areas on the XLE, a lot of these internals putting in new demand areas on the bottom. So, you know, COG could actually have some more move up here and, I really don't see a lot of reasons to take this off whatsoever, except from a money management standpoint. You've had a 20% move. Take half off and turn the rest of it into a free trade. Then you're just, you know, the hands are back. You're. It's not a bad thing. I don't know if I answered that question in about 80 different ways, S&P. Eh, nobody's listening to me. It's okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at gold. Um this is something, you know, we just pounded the desk about this 1104 area. We breached it a couple of times the past three weeks. Today's Friday. In my opinion, we're going to have a close below 1104. Not very good news for longs, all right? So gold, you know, the world's starting to figure everything out again. The S&Ps are up, blah, blah, blah. In my opinion, gold's going to continue to settle back, and uh, that's, that's not the best, in my opinion, best use of your capital to start piling into gold on the long side right now. Um, and a lot of times you'll spend mental capital on trades like this. If you're, you know, it is what it is on the technical side. 1104 is a big number. We've talked about that religiously. You get start, you, you start focusing on something like that on the wrong side where I don't see any technicals really to, to cause anyone to think this on the long side. Um, you start burning mental capital too. And that's stress. And that can affect the rest of your trading day and, and, trading week or what have you all righty um we're going to take a look at uh now we're going to we're going to focus on we're going to look at the xle really quick as a as a group um 
We're coming up into some. Okay, okay. So this this is our weekly on the XLA. Remember, we've just literally gotten off the floor, and this is a great, great example of you know finding those stocks that didn't make lower lows, like the SWNs of the world, the COGs of the world, the EQTs of the world. But right now, the XLA is kind of jumping up into uh, the bottom of our profile on our daily. I think pre market we're trading above there. Let's see, uh, fifty four ninety. So 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 right now. And again, this chart is not reflecting pre-market activity on the daily. You've got support at 53.83. Um, if we break that back down below there, uh, a lot of you know the XLEs, especially on a closing basis, is going to have some some problems. But uh, I think we're going to have some more legs here. We're going to talk about a couple more stocks in the XLE and then move right to the S and P's. trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to tom o'brien's daily market letter market insights tom o'brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m and provides tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the dow nasdaq and s p plus specific trade recommendations there's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity he'll give you the entry price price target and stock price of each stock in option trade with Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi guys, welcome back to the show. If it looks like I've been up all night, I have. Um, so many cool things happen in a volatile market like this. I'm not going to say I saved myself for times like this, but um, you know, th there's a lot of things going on overseas. So we've, uh, you know, I've been talking to people, and hey, it's Friday, I can sleep tomorrow. So uh, that's 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 uh, that's the excuse for the red eyes. Um, 
Uh, Steve wrote a really good question then about it. We have a kind of a new box attempting to appear. That's also the, what that means basically is we've got a new demand area happening on crude oil. Steve's not wrong. He's not, he doesn't need his glasses. Um, and one of the things that that means is that means that we're putting in a new base and we've actually got something new to lean on when it comes to, you know, new inflection points. It's an indicator in itself for a long term trade. If you, if you've been short crude oil, um, this is the, kind of the target rich environment with these new profiles attempting to appear that you want to say hey at least i probably need to get out of my shorts i mean this has been a great short by the way we have not been talking about getting long crudo until recently and some of the stocks in the xle recently showing themselves so again um this may be uh, at least a uh, at, at bare minimum it would be a resting point for crude oil on the way down. And I think you've got some really good opportunities here. Um, this is, it's not showing on our chart here, but if you got our one hour, this is kind of where we're at right now. Um, and uh, let me let me pull this up in e-signal so you can get the, uh, this is exactly the same chart, in my opinion, um, that we have on the scanner as we do in e-signal here. There's that 60 minute we just looked at. So again, uh, do have some targets around 3173 on this? That's going to be some. We are not. No, that's true, Steve. That that's exactly true. That doesn't mean we've we've got a reversal in place. Um, you know, we've got some technical damage that has that has happened to shorts for the first time in a long time. That's man. I my, I think it's my computer today, guys. I think I, I need to reboot. So I'm not thinking that the. The charts in the scanner are, are slow. Maybe it's me, um, but this was, you know, this was the first time we had broken stride since the high 30s, as we talked about before. And, and this consolidation action, we talked about this yesterday on Tom's show. This consolidation action above these 240 minute <coughs> profiles that kind of regulate the trade down. This is super, super killer breakout, technical damage at least on the 240s consolidated above. And you know, we've had a We've and look at this. I mean, you know, the trigger point there. Um, this has been what twenty seven eighty four. Let me just do the math really quick. Mm -hmm. Four, three and a half, three and a half points. Uh, what is this? My God, is this this is over a ten percent moving crude oil from the bottom? Wow, I didn't even really realize that. So, okay. All right, so let, let's do this. Let's jump back into the S and P's. I wanted to, I wanted to get into. Um, let me go back to our dashboard. You know, one of the things I was looking at yesterday, and this is a cool, cool little manual sort you can do. Um, I was looking for stocks that were trading above profiles, putting in new boxes on our daily. Let me go back here. Let me reset this. Trading above profiles, putting in new profiles on our daily. Now, this was the end of the day yesterday. And what really happened was you were able to see which stocks were turning. Now, a lot of those new profiles attempting to appear aren't there. But what happened yesterday at the close or at the, towards the end of the day, I was saying, okay, well, what's really been trading above long-term profiles on our weekly, but putting in new demand areas like Steve at, at Rhodes had just kind of, you know, suggested, you know, what, what does that mean? Obviously today's a different story. A lot of those new profiles are now admitted, but you know, it, it was, it was a sort able to find, um, actually that wasn't the sort. I'm sorry. Good Lord. It was this sort, excuse me. I'm colorblind. It was stocks that were, I apologize for that. That's another story you could do. But it was stocks that were in a downtrend, but also putting in new demand areas. I apologize. I said that wrong. And if you'll notice, there are quite a few instruments. And what I wanted to do is even refine it more and say, okay, I want to see stocks that are down, putting new demand areas in, and also breaking above 240 profiles. Remember, all in the same spirit of oil, um, these are the stocks that have shown new demand areas on our daily and also crossing above the border on our 240s. And there's a couple of ones that just happened here. Um, let me let me sort. Let me see if I can sort this. Wow, that's cool. First 240 bar up this morning, actually. We've got 
ESV, UA, and WHR. These are first 240 bars above this morning. And also having that new demand area starting to be put in on the daily. You've got some other stocks that kind of triggered earlier, and I'm sorting these by the number of bars on the 240s of how that happens. So I'm just going to go into, uh, let me pick one. Oh, we talked about Alcoa on the show yesterday afternoon. If you guys didn't catch that double A here, let me, uh, that's one of the ones that the worm has possibly turned. So let's look at it. I drink a lot of tequila, so that's where that comes from. Come on. Here we go. All right. So that means that we're looking at the stock in a downtrend. And now, Cole, we have not talked about doing anything with the stock other than just selling resistance since 15, 16, 17. Here's the weekly. Nice little reversal there. Um, here's the daily new demand area being put in, and then here's the 240. So we've broken stride. We've got a new base on the daily. This stock really, this might be an opportunity to just kind of lean on the long side and put some stops in. Uh, let's get the new profile here. Let's understand where to put those stops. But this particular sort, man, what a cool little thing here. And, and, and it it's really very appropriate in a market that's gotten killed, and you're trying to, you know, not – trade the relative strength game of let's buy the strongest stocks which is always the safest deal but you're trying to find some reversal opportunities and this thing just puts them right on the board and a lot of these i mean disney let's take a look at this one let's just pull up our chart and i think this is due to my computer here here we go here's disney there's the four hour new demand area being put in on the daily we've crossed the border on the four hour the top of the profile in the four hour that again has regulated this trade down from the from the one fifteens of the world. Um, ninety four fifty six top of the profile. And uh that showed up because of that sort we just did. So again, this sort is getting killed, new demand area happening on the daily and poking their head above the two forty. So these are reversal type little situations, and and uh, they're obviously. If I wanted to find, for instance, this, let me resort reset this. If I wanted to find the strong of the strong, here they are. I can play this game all day long, and as you'll notice, these weeklies and dailies that are that are trading above profiles on these on these whatever seven instruments, um, the 240 and the 60 really, you know, prove this out. They they have been launching even on the short term, in this bounce back up. Proving the theory uh, relative strength. And I'm tired. I'll be back. <laughs> Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that 
many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Um, I, I just want to show you the, the index profile heat grid, what this is, and um, you can read about it. Uh, there's a lot of little icons in the scanner. You can just kind of hit them and gives you some text. Tried to basically not have to have a manual and just kind of put a lot of these things in here that uh, hopefully will be self-explanatory. And then you don't have to question my brilliance. Just kidding. <laughs> That's... I don't know why. Anyway, so a lot of these indices, as you can see, still really, you know, breath negative when it comes to daily and weekly. That was a joke, by the way. Um, here's the weekly, here's the daily, uh, and here's the four hour. All right. So as you can see, a lot of breaths are, you know, turning positive on the 60 and the 240. In fact, if I go to the 60, um, it's the, oh, wow. Shanghai, Saudi Arabia. Okay. So, um, one of the things that we were just looking at, uh, and I want to show you this. This is like ultra cool to me. So when I go into the Shanghai, and you can go look at the Shanghai, Shanghai index. You can look at the chart. In fact, here it is. Um, I want to show you something kind of cool. Um, and this is maybe not for day trading. I understand that. But for a lot of portfolio managers, and we deal with a lot of them, if you'll notice, going back to uh, July 2014, we, we crossed into positive territory. That was... Uh, way back when, sub-2000 on the Shanghai. Then we had that peak, and we had to kind of roll over, and breath changed negative on our long term. Then we had a little bit of a trading opportunity on the long side for a while, and that started, uh, what, October 2015. And then the door was shut again on the long side that first week of uh, January. So, um, you know, these types of things, these long-term breath changes like we've always talked about especially and i'm gonna go back to our s and p's you know i've been a little relative strength happy about the s and p's even though our breath was kind of rolling over um i was looking at it as a relative strength play but as you look at our s p long-term breath crossovers we were a little mixed up there and i was getting chopped up for a while back in uh late or actually in december but if you look at these crossovers for the most part, it really gives you a really good tone of the marketplace or tie to the marketplace. And we get it drilled down into the dailies, it's even better. Um, so, again, keep your eye on things like this. Look for the long-term inflection points to trade around those tie to the marketplaces. And when we look at things like that, we're always looking for opportunities internally within those indices. And that's kind of the same type mechanism as we looked at the XLE outstanding units relative to crude oil going down. I think we've got a caller, Alex from Atlanta. Um, are you on with us? Yes, sir. I've been looking for that Intel. It's at the same price it was in July last year. Now, is that going up? I know chip sales go down in March and all that stuff. Should I be buying that for the dividend? Well, let's, let's take a look at Intel. Um, and thank you for calling. I'm going to pull it up on our scanner really quick. And here we go. So, um, 
was yeah, man, this ooh, this is uh, this is something we looked at recently that had kind of been holding up. I'm going to go back to e-signal really quick. I'm going to type it in because well, you know, go ahead. Some gaps in there. There's some gaps in there. Do you think they'll be filled like on Spy at 131? Do you think Spy will be filled at 131? There's a big gap down there. That's a good Fibonacci retracement. <laughs> on the spiders. Yeah, you got a big gap from 2013 to 14th at 131, and then it gapped up on January at 133. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. Let's let's finish up with Intel um, pre market. Yeah. It looks like we're is that cool? Uh, we're pre market. We're trading about 30. Um, the cool thing is on Intel, uh, you got a new demand area that will output today, um, and that's. That's the good news. You're going to have to wait until the scanner. See that? I don't know if you're looking at this. There's a yellow kind of peelback happening here. And um, mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to our kind of landscape view here. And um, that means that we're going to have a new profile in our daily right on the market opening. And you can what you can do on that, and I kind of like this because, you know, uh, those new demand areas are target-rich environments for shorts. And you've also got – You've also traversed the entire fair auction, a massively wide fair auction between uh, 2859 and 35, top of the profile on this on our long term weekly. Long term stops, in my opinion, could be placed below 2859 on this based on your appetite for risk. Give yourself a little bit of wiggle room there on, uh, on that number. But, uh, you know, I think the market's kind of settling down here um and this is a relatively low risk trade because you know you've got a new demand area on the daily you've got a, a, a custer's last stance kind of stop on the weekly at 28.59 and your appetite for us below and your targets on the upside right now are 31.83 so you could you could possibly squeeze about two points out of this thing with a stop oriented about one point below so you've got a risk reward two to one you need some market help on this one, um, but uh, again, you know, you just got to kind of play the odds, and um, right. that's that's the way I'm looking at it. Right, and look at that gap there on SPY. It's from 2012 to 13. That will be filled. I think that's where we're going, and I think that's a point five zero Fibonacci retracement. Okay, let let me take a look at that. This is our spider, uh, yeah. 2012. You said. Yeah, the last day of 12 to the first day of 13. There's a gap there. SPY. I'm, I'm reviewing it right now. Hold on, let's see. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I, you know, I, I'm really into looking at our profiles almost in an exponential moving average kind of sense. And and what I see here, and I hear what you're saying, but what I see it here will, is... It will go down there in the market. I'm sorry, what? By election. I think it will go down there by election day. This is just a short cover and rally. You know, they're blaming it on oil. It has nothing to do with oil. We have low oil because we have low-paying jobs because of Obamacare. It's cutting into everybody's budget. You know what I mean? And you have an election year. I know exactly what you mean. I, I lament. I lay in my bed at night and think of all these disaster scenarios. Um, Before my it was just China three weeks ago. Now it's oil is the, the problem with the stock market. The problem is they're overpriced stocks. And when you raise interest rates, you can't buy back stocks no more, especially during I, earnings season. I hear you. There, there's so many things you can put into an equation, fundamentally speaking. And I, I'm the worst. I'm, I'm, I'm neurotic in general, and I lay awake at, at night and just think of all these disaster scenarios and buy more uh, food and put it in the uh, closet. But, but that that being said, as we look at the technicals on on these situations, you know you can't make too much sense of markets. If you tried to do that over the last six or seven years, I mean, I was like, why is this thing going up? I mean, it, you know, this is a this is a fake situation. They could rig it even further, you know, and rigging it even further. You know, fundamentally speaking, putting new mechanisms in, China's buying their stocks, we're buying more bonds. Who, who knows what could happen? You know, the party the party continues, and everybody wants to stay up till 4 a.m. instead of 2 a.m. Yeah, next week the Fed speaks. You got Aunt B speaking. So, she, you know, Aunt B speaks. Uh, the Fed meets on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, I, I hear you. Um Again, um, I'm I'm kind of sticking with my guns on the technicals here, and um, and I, I you know. So where I, are we going I, with spy then? We're going up. <laughs> let, let me let me pull up the S and P's. 
I tell you what, uh, we don't, we're we're going to break, Alex. Can, can yeah. I can I further this after the after the break and and, and oh, then you can, absolutely, absolutely you can just listen to it. Okay, cool. All right, we'll be right back, guys. Thanks. Yep. O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Catch Larry Pesavento, a 40-year veteran trader. He uses pattern recognition, garlics, butterflies, ABCs, and Fibonacci in order to trade these markets. Trade what you see next on TFNN. All right, let's talk about something important. Let's talk about the uh, the tenure here. And we talked about uh, you know really big resistance around this 128, 28, 27, 28. Uh, talked about you know getting back down below there. If we had breached it, stop out, and then let's hit the uh, back up the truck on the short side. I really fully believe your targets have almost been met, not met around 28. I think we're going to breach 28. Um, so that's the situation on the 10 year. Remember. Um, the dollar, this has uh, really been one of the more easier trades, in my opinion, to kind of lean on on the long side. Now you've got, you crowded this POC. Remember, this is the top of the hill, this this blue line here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up our scanner, and I'm going to go back to our future section. I'm going to go down into the stack here. Did I say I like this scanner? I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, 
what you can see here is we've, we've you know we've obviously been trading about profiles here but here's that you know kind of top of the hill here with that poc 9937 you kind of roll down one side or the other and we've compressed up against that i fully believe we're ultimately going to see 170 on this particular product and um that's the way i'm looking at the dollar remember the the market has traditionally liked a stronger dollar, and the, uh, that's just the way I'm looking at it. Let's take a look at the S&Ps here. Your upward targets on this are 1909. Uh, we don't have to keep climbing today, but um, and I'm waiting for my profiles here. Let me go back to it. That's the cool thing. I can go right back into this and uh, see my profiles anyway. There's that 1909 number. There's the top of our profile, 1891, that we've, that we've already talked about. Uh, in previous shows, and we're right there right now. So, uh, again, that 1891, that's a little bit of a lid here. You're going to have to pay attention to that. 1909 will be more resistance. Right now, we're having a gap up. You've got a little bit of a opportunity here to take some off if you've been long. And if you're if you're considering going short, this is, this is kind of something you can lean on on the short term. Remember, these 240s are you know, my favorite time frame, they really regulate the long-term trade down. And for all intents and purposes, we're still in a downtrend, even though we've had, I'm going to go back to my, our, our uh, breath calculations here. We had this crossover start to happen back on the 20th midday. Uh, been a little mixed up here, but uh, remember the long-term breath situation is still negative. So we're in theory supposed to be selling long-term resistance points still. Keep that in mind. Don't get too super mega excited here. Um, and, you know, think, the, think that we're going back to 2100 on the S&Ps really quick. That's probably not going to be in order. We're going to have a lot of good trading range opportunities more than likely until some things get settled out overseas namely in this situation china uh interesting how that thing came up to three thousand yesterday and sold off again that's wild but remember we got a new demand area here on the uh on the shanghai on the daily things seemingly have calmed down i wouldn't get really excited to get long on the shanghai and get long on the s p's totally until we had a close above three thousand on the shanghai on the weekly remember today's friday we didn't have a close and the shanghai is not open today <laughs> it's, it's uh it's 9 p.m at night in china anyway i know you guys know that already um Guys, look, stay tuned for Larry. He's got some interesting points. I'm sure he's going to be going over with, with crude oil and the indices in general. Uh, Steve Rhodes, David White, Daryl Martin, Andy Heck, Tom, and the rest of the crowd on TFNN. Get some perspective. Today's Friday, so you can be ready to rock and roll on Monday. Have a good weekend. We'll pick it up then. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.